Hello, Hello Floss Tube. We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. This is Ronnie. And Piper. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. Look at she's letting me hold her and touch her like a cute dog and just boop. <laughs> she hates me. <laughs> she hates me. Hi, it's Saturday. Come on in. <laughs> Grab a cup of tea or vodka. Whatever your choice is. <laughs> just kidding. Um, what did we do this week? Gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. Somebody was in the post office yesterday with me and he's like, I don't, I don't know what month it is. Like he was trying to write the date on something and he's like, I have no idea. Does it even matter anymore? It's just like, oh. Oh, we shipped out a bunch of toys. So, um, a lot of stores have already started receiving them. Mm -hmm. So if you are on pre-orders, uh, they'll be shipping them out to you shortly. And if not, you can stop in your LNS and see if they have it. Mm -hmm. Take a picture with it and put it on our group. We love to see yep. them. We haven't been able to get to any stores. I think that that was like one of the biggest things for both of us is, oh, I want to see our designs in a needle workshop. And we just haven't been able to get in any place yet. So when we return to normal <laughs> when we return to normal but take your selfies with them we'd love to see them great all right um what else did we do aren't you supposed to think of something <laughs> i don't even remember what we did um oh, we, we went to the pool one day we went to the pool we went to the sunflower maze again but it was closed we didn't check the time before we went <laughs> Um, and we made Hunter go with us. Yeah, we made. Mom was like, "You can drive me." He gets so excited if he gets to drive her in his car. <laughs> hey, it's a little early for dinosaurs. We did. It's male. Um, we yesterday we released a cup. Right. So we started our fall series of what's in my cup yesterday. Yeah, how we? So many of you harvest. So many of you said I went into withdrawals because you didn't <laughs> post one last week. So this, yes, what? this is harvest, and I finished it on that barn from Hobby Lobby in the spring shop. And I just bought this one like a week ago, a week and a half ago, and it was sixty six percent off. But I know that the spring stuff is now seventy five percent off. Priscilla's pretty plaid fabric for the background. I added some Murray Holt vintage trim. I forget what the color of that is. And then I glued it down. I added a, a black and white check bow at the top and a sunflower. I think it's so cute. We so love it. Hopefully, if you don't already have this barn, you can find one in one of your Hobby Lobbies. Speaking of Priscilla's pretty plaids, uh, Mom's designed a quilt and a table runner. So this is the plaid farmhouse quilt kit. And this is through Fat Quarter Shop. You can do a pre-order now on their website. And then can you pre-order or just get notified oh maybe you can just do a notification did you have the table runner on here too no i didn't because i couldn't get it to take a picture i remember let me <laughs> i have it right here so i'll do the table runner you just keep talking so <laughs> what we wanted was like the red and the black especially for me i would like it for christmas and it's very farmhousey looking and i love the pinwheels and it's so pretty i think we're gonna do a quilt along aren't we are we? We're going to learn how to do Where's we? pinwheels. Where's we? I cut. <laughs> In my hall today. <laughs> um, here's, the, uh, here's the table runner. So this is, it's going to be 26 and a half by 64 and a half inches. It's going to be a good size table runner. You probably can't even see that. I'm so sorry. Here you go. But you could make this with the Halloween fabric with the black and white check and the gray check. patriotic. You could do the blue checks with the red for patriotic. So you could Super. do a lot of things. Yes. Uh, no. We're so excited though. No, it's, I don't think I mentioned this. That Henry Glass fabric, like she was extremely excited with the quality of mm -hmm. it too. It's a, it's a, like a yes. durable, thicker fabric. We, we're just really excited about it. Yes, we're it's so not flimsy at all. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's just get into questions. <laughs> Do we? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> we didn't have a lot this week. We still have to do a garden video. We we've tried to do it like six times. Well, we said we were gonna do it six times, and then we just <laughs> ate instead. <laughs> Yesterday we did like a, I mean, literally like the thousandth episode. <laughs> Terry wanted to know what's the name of the plaid fabric you finished the ornaments with, and did you get it at Fat Quarter Shop? It was yes. in our Christmas finishing bundle, but it's no but longer it's no available. Longer, no longer available. Kimberly tried to see if she could get more and she couldn't. 
Right, but I am gonna finish the ornaments with our fabrics for Kimberly's. We went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I was looking for something other than the little wreaths to put at the top, but right now they don't have a whole lot of selections. So hopefully this week sometime I'll find some little doodads to put up at the top. Okay. And then I'll show you those finished up. Okay. Morgan, since Ronnie and Calvin have made appearances, will Chelsea's dogs? My Daisy looks a lot like Ronnie, just like in thicker sausage form. And then um, my other dogs, if I want my dogs in it, I just customize it for that. But my chickens have made every pattern that we've done so far. So. Not everyone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, my chickens get a lot of mm -hmm. exposure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Deborah, she's asking about your finishing a Bloomtopia. You haven't finished it yet, right? No, I haven't, but I have decided what I'm going to do with it. So maybe this week I'll get it done. Okay. Yes. Deborah, what's the most economical way to buy linen? I want to buy by the yard to build up my stash and dye them myself. Okay, so we don't buy linen. Right. We buy Monaco. Monaco is... Even weave. Even weave. And it, it's not as expensive no. as linen. Linen can be very pricey in what I've experienced. Mm -hmm. Monaco is more like an Ada price, right? Right. It's because it's cotton. C cotton. And okay. Linen is linen. Right. There's... Um, so I can't give you the best way to purchase linen but monaco i would say um I, I, she had talked about buying it like from joanne's i would be careful with that as far as right. it's not like when you get done with a project and it's supposed to be square sometimes it's rectangle when you have mm -hmm. that off brand of monaco um the stuff that we've purchased from fat quarter shop has been Good. it's yes. like charles craft right yes it's charles craft okay or dmc brand whatever they're calling it yeah, I don't have any it, today. I, if you need bigger pieces, there's no bigger pieces of Monaco. So you could maybe go with that Linda because I think you can get a bigger piece of that. Right? Okay, yeah. And that's 27 count and yes. cotton as well. Right. Diane, when you are shopping for finishing items, do you look for particular sizes if you don't have a specific finish to buy for? Like, are you looking like for a five by seven frame or do you just look for good deals? I look for good deals and I look for things that are different that I can potentially finish something on. Yes. I, I don't know. I just know when I see something that mm -hmm. it jumps out I have to her. buy it. Uh, but doodads like ribbons and um, picks and stuff you, you want to get at a good price. So I would like when you know those things are going to be going on sale or at the end of the season, mm -hmm. I would stock up on them for the next mm -hmm. year if you have that ability to do so. Kathy, this week you posted that you had a tomato thief. Does Ronnie eat them? Yes. Ronnie gets up in the beds and rips them off the plant. She does that to the raspberries too, but she like tramples everything in the garden. And then she just sits there and begs. If you're picking tomatoes, she just begs for you to feed her. See, before so. when I had my garden just normal, she would get the tomatoes off the plants. But I thought, well, they're raised but beds, a foot so high <laughs> now, so she's not going to do it. But there she is in there. Ronnie's a prima donna. So like if you sit on the couch, so sit there and like act like she's jumping up and then bark at you. And then when you go to like help her, she just jumps up automatically. So she, she's like a prima donna. Yeah, so we didn't think there. that she would get in the beds, but she right. just like walks on up. She's like, oh, dinner. And then she, the green ones, she won't eat. So she throws those on the ground and then Piper gets them. <laughs> and somebody puked on the floor yesterday. So it's like... Piper the puker. <laughs> uh, Pam L, what section is the sticky board in at Hobby Lobby? Ours is right across the aisle from the DMC. There's a whole cross stitch aisle at ours. Yeah. It's cross stitch hit, embroidery. Hit and miss if you can get some though, right? Right. And it's like on the floor. always on the bottom of the thing and just standing up. Yeah, they have like a rack that is not it noticeable. <laughs> they There's like three pieces of each size if you're lucky. <laughs> And mom gets it all. So if you're shopping after her, you're not getting any. Uh, what else? That's all. That's all the questions I have this week. I wanted to say thank you for all of the people who uh, emailed mom about the. This isn't my sweatshirt, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. I forgot my sweatshirt. I'm wearing like an old work shirt because we plan to. Oh, that's what we bought. We bought more hydrangeas. <laughs> we went shopping for more plants. The bush and mom's lap. I was dying. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just bought, I wore an old work shirt because we're going to plant her hedge maybe today, depending. We are? Yeah, we say we are, and then we're like, well, let's just go cook. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we made pasta with eggplant yesterday that was really good. We, instead yes. of like breading it for eggplant parmesan, you just 
cut it up and do the salt thing and then put a little bit of olive oil in a pan and saute it until it's cooked brownish and then you put it with pasta it was really good we have a lot of it was on my youtube yesterday because <laughs> i follow this sicilian grannies or no italian grannies or pasta grannies pasta grannies they're very cute mm -hmm. uh we've been eating a lot the of eggplant recipe yeah it was really we had good. eggplant parmesan last week that was mm -hmm. delicious Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot in the garden right now. Uh, I also wanted to say a happy belated birthday to Juliana. Happy birthday. Uh, okay, and then to your oh, previous finishes. Yep. So this is a beeline from Country Cottage Needle Works, and I only did part of the chart. I forget what the rest of it was, but I wanted it to fit on this. And I did change the colors too, I think. Yes. Shoot, I can't remember the name of this. Henry and Louise, I think. This is Little House Needleworks. More of my sunflowers and bees. It's a thrift store frame. And I just left the frame the way it was. And the frame was $1.99. And I just put it inside of there, added a bow, and a kind of like uh, tore the homespun and put a sunflower up there. Homespun. I haven't heard about homespun. In a I used to use that all the time. And then that pedestal frame, I think, was from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure, but I know I chalk painted it because I see the paint around the edges. <laughs> it's fine. All right, whipped. I didn't and then have for a lot. Finish. Today. I did stitch this and finished it. So I didn't have a lot this week. Um, this is something I'm working on. So I stitched a lot of these two things. Look at those colors. In my Guess what it's for? Can't tell ya. <laughs> Um, I stitched some more on this. You know, I, I, I'll come prepared one of these days. This is Hickety Pickety by With Thy Needle and Thread. Somebody just posted this on our group and it was absolutely beautiful. She had finished it, so. I didn't see that. Congratulations. I got a little bit more of the apron done. Then... I'm in a, a fall mood. What's this? Did I work on this? I, like, I, I really don't know what year it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Trick or Treat by Prairie Schooler. So I decided to change her face to be green. I just used frog legs. And this is on Rit dyed fabric. That was coffee tea dyed. Don't ask me what color. I don't. I don't know. The master did it. I think it was charcoal gray. And then a little bit on boo club. On eek. I'll be excited for this one to be done. So I need to get going on it. I need to get. Oh. <laughs> I understand it wasn't bath salts. Basalt is a volcanic rock <laughs> used in a lot of landscaping. And I, I got lots of Google images of it, so I appreciate it. We don't have any volcanic rock in our yard, so. We didn't know. <laughs> and bath salts is funnier, so. <laughs> uh, remember when that was a thing? People okay, were that, like. That you know? Oh, thanks, yes. <laughs> so for my main focus this week, I've been working on the November truck, which I can't wait for you to see because it's really, it's awesome. I finished up the, the gingham greetings. So I have two of the ornaments done now. And I'll start the third this week so that I can have a set for my tree. I also worked on my Christmas list and I started this this word is the last line of the the red one mm -hmm. okay so the red so it's gonna say Christmas morn morn or morning morn doesn't look like there's enough room for morning but I'm all the way to the bottom I know that you know I have some empty spots to fill in but Christmas morn and then there's a, like, the little... You can't show the chart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! 
Can you cut that out? <laughs> I'm not gonna edit it. Okay, so. <laughs> In trouble again. <laughs> All right, so this is almost done. So then I'm, okay, so you know what? Today I'm gonna do it. Today I'm gonna start, it's not gonna be posted today. I'm gonna start working on just like writing out so she can just attach it to her blog. What's what, I think. But you'll have to look at the pictures as well. I mean, that, it's just gonna, that's how we're gonna have to do it. Okay. Isn't it pretty? Yes. But I can do like the car uses this, this, and this. It's amazing on that blue fabric. Mm -hmm. I think the but red really pops. that's how big pops. it's gonna be. And then I, I've been trying to decide because this over here, it says Christ is born. So I'm gonna do that in red too, I think. And then the bottom will be the red. Um, have you decided how you're finishing it already? I'm gonna try that. Uh, that chicken wire frame that Kimberly sent. Oh. And that she got at an antique store. Yeah. And if it's not big enough, then I'll have to figure out something else. But okay. I kind of want it that I can lean up against a wall somewhere. I don't know. Okay. It's like too okay. big to go on a table and we I don't got, have someplace I want to hang it on the wall. We got gifts this week. Um, so these were from Gigi. At Lake House Stitch Co. And she has a shop. She sent us this beautiful card. Inside the card, I think, is her business She card. says it's funny that she has about 25 whips to cross stitch. Girl. <laughs> Multiply that by five, and I I'll see you there. <laughs> uh, yes, she has an Etsy shop. It's called Lake House Stitch Co. I'll attach her below, but she makes project bags, and they are absolutely beautiful. It looks like yard sauce. Garden time. So cute. Adorable, love the black check. Yep. Lake House Stitch Co. on Etsy. Very cute. Thank you so much. And Jennifer, she's like, I had to make these for you. You guys can fight over who gets what. They're scrappy, they are adorable. Uh, so she did these floss keepers. So you, if you had bobbins of floss or even if you just um, like circle your floss, I guess is how you'd say. You put them in these little pouches. Cute. They're adorable. And she says she's not making them yet if she wants to, to sell yet. If she wants to sell them, she would let us know. And then here's a big project bag. And she said we can keep some, we can give them away. So cute. I mean, she sent us like a hundred, not a hundred. But they're, the backs are quilted. They're, they're like strips of fabric. Look at how amazing they are. So cute. All the campers. Ah! Last but not least, these two. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you. Look at the bicycle. Very cute. Ah! Does she have an Etsy shop? No, I, I already said that. She's not selling okay. them right now. She made them. I didn't know if she had an Etsy shop that she sells other things in. He wanted to show you all his babies. All right, um, then we got from Marsha. She sent us a, a very beautiful card that she made. All these people who know how to make things. It says too many whips, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> these are mine. And then, this is so cute, witch's brew. A Halloween or Halloween decoration, not an mm -hmm. ornament. And then she has book. She got three actually, three, 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 three. This. We don't have this. <laughs> she said you probably already have it. We don't. I'm so excited. Ah! <laughs> it says for mama. We haven't been able to find anything, mm -mm. anything. We made a couple special trips this week just because. To get the baby to go to sleep. <laughs> no, we'd go to the post office, which is way that way, and then we'd have to go way that way to go to Home Goods. Not a thing. <laughs> Not a thing. Not a thank thing. you so much, Marcia. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna put these socks on right now, actually. Um, and then this. Who made his book? That was from her too, right? I believe so. Yes, but we have a special film at the end <laughs> that we're gonna put where he said thank you for it. <laughs> <laughs> And then he did his floss tube yesterday. He comes in grandma's house. 
hi mama and walks up to his little <laughs> table cheese cheese and until you put the camera on he won't stop all right um this was from maria the beautiful hydrangea on the card and she sent us duplicates um to use as giveaways or keep if we don't have so thank you thank you thank you so much the generosity in this group is i think it's unmatched this needs to go over there with that thank you all right and then i got some haul did you get some haul i didn't our lives are together no <laughs> all right then i got some haul my 11 pound box of haul all right, so I got mom some scissors because she keeps complaining about her scissors. So I got some <laughs> scissors. I got two pairs. I don't know what kind she likes. We'll see. She's my finisher, so I have to pay her. And then <laughs> I got, oh, first I'll show this. So I decided that we're, we're capable of doing this. We're by her. I mean, this is called the Jelly Weave. We're going to try it. We'll see. We probably won't be able to. We'll probably just do a strip quilt, but we're going to try it. Okay, so I got the um, Costume Makers Ball Jelly Rolls. So I have five inch stackers, I think, or 10 inch stackers, or maybe half yard. But I decided to get jelly rolls too because I really love this fabric and I was in a Halloween mood. Then I got Dear Christmas Jelly Rolls because mom has them. So then we'll have matching quilts. Then. I have to pay my finisher in sticky board. <laughs> and then I got some yardage. I, I just got some different things for finishing. Finishing fabrics. Oh, and I brought that for you because it has ice skates on it. And I thought you'd like it. <laughs> um, I'm getting there. And then this one with the little light bulbs. That's very cute. It's super cute. And then some plain, that's why things don't end up nice here. Plain um, white is in here as well for that jelly weave, jelly, jelly, jelly weave quilt. <laughs> jelly weave quilt. Oh my goodness. All right, that, that's what I got at Hall. That's more quilting stuff this week. Maybe I'm gonna quilt. Maybe. All right, what do you got to show us? I, I didn't get any haul, but I am going to start Kelvin and Clyde this week because Chelsea stitched this one and I got to go by the truck because I just love this. So I wanted to hang up for this fall. I love scarecrows. You can just keep mine if you'd like. You don't like my stitching? or You can want to take it home. We had giveaways last week. <laughs> oh, I have to do a PSA first. I have to do another one. I hate doing these. I hate it. In our Facebook group, if you don't have anything nice to say, if you don't have anything helpful, just scroll on by. Okay? We're all adults. Everybody comes there to be inspired and happy. That's what we want the group to be. No drama. Yep. Be you happy. Have time to babysit. Well, I do, but all be 12, happy. All 12,000 of you. <laughs> be happy. 99% of the time, it's like amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So just, if you don't... If, if it's not for you, it's not for you. That's all. Just keep scrolling. And thank right? you to all the people who notify us when there's a problem. Yes. We appreciate yes, you very much. Yes, thank you. And also, thank you for everyone sharing, stitching, supporting each other. It's like, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love popping on there and seeing what you're working on, seeing what whips you have going on mm -hmm. and just what's going on. I yep. love it. All your yard sauce, your zucchini casserole. <laughs> I love it all. I love it all. Thank you. It's funny. We're all eating the same thing. <laughs> Yard sauce and zucchini casserole. Right. I haven't had zucchini casserole in a week. All right, so. We, I, I just said to her yesterday, we need to do another recipe. So we think we're going to do this fresh salsa that we make. Yes. Does that sound good to everybody? Yeah, you can put it in the comments and just say, no, I don't do salsa. <clears throat> it's not like, it's like a, a chopped salsa. It's not. Um, like blended, no. Right, no, it's a chopped salsa as like a topping, I guess we should say. All right, so for our three-year giveaway, we had. If you're a winner, you email us your physical address and we mail them out to you unless you're winning a PDF. Then you just need to email us and let us know what you won. Make sure everybody emails us when you e no. Take a breath. Make <laughs> sure if you win, when you email us, you email us your physical address, but also what you won so we can verify. And if you have a different YouTube name, tell us that too. 
All right, so for the first, uh, what is it? The first number one. Oh, there was number, there was 14. If you didn't get the numbers right, you lost. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so um, number one was three opportunities to win this set of three charts. These are new releases for August. It is Calvin and Trixie. Trucking Along October and Trick or Treat. We cannot wait to see these started. So mm -hmm. make sure if you are starting these, yep. make sure you tag us so we can see. Hashtag. We are super excited about these. We're, we're excited about all of ours. There's some people that are already done with the cup from yesterday. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So the. Let's do stitch up pretty quick though. Yes. The first one goes to Karen Brasher. Second one goes to Jen Thread by Thread 06. And the third one goes to Deb Blagg. Congratulations. All right. Number two was three opportunities to win an Ort bag. Uh, these were um, courtesy of Leela May Designs. They had taken orders for the pumpkins, and a ton of you signed up for them. So thank you so much. Uh, you can join their Facebook group, Leela May Designs, on Facebook. All right, the first one goes to Marsha Rott. Second one goes to Rhonda Gibbs. And the third one goes to Rose Smith. Congratulations. Right there. Number three, these uh, four, the next four were from Rivaris. And she has hand dyed linen as a giveaway. Oh, this one was forced. All right, so the first one is the ocean fabric. It's beautiful. I think that's my favorite. And that goes to Kathy Klump. I think a Christmas design would be really pretty on this. Yes. The next one is Autumn Leaf. Also very pretty. And that one goes to Mary Gordon. Number five is Pumpkin. And that goes to Sig Woman. I got it. You're going to tie it? Thank you. And then number six is Forest. There we go. And that goes to Lisa Capel. Very nice. Number seven, Linda. <laughs> Linda <laughs> is the Linda White. And that goes to Terry Welch. This is an 18 by 26 inch piece. So the person looking for a bigger fabric, this is a pretty good size mm -hmm. piece of fabric for you. All right, number eight was 27 count Linda Black, and that goes to Cindy Flinchbaugh, I think. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Not, I think that that's you. All right, number nine is 25 count bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> and that goes to- This Kat, is Lugana. Yes, Lugana. Cat Heaven Crafts. Number 10. Somebody said I get louder each week with the giveaways. <laughs> I'm just, trying, <laughs> I'm just trying to wake up, Hunter. I want to make sure that you can hear me. Number 10, Trees and Bees, Linda Neal. This is Country Cottage Needleworks. It's a new one. It's super cute. And you could make that house all different colors if you wanted to, to, to customize it. Number 11 is, and these are all courtesy of Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you so much, Kimberly and your team. Number 11 goes to, it's Country Christmas 2. This is an Annie B's Folk Art Ornament set. Stitching is elementary. I read this and I was like, it's elementary, but I'm still finding trouble doing it. Like, how? <laughs> maybe you're a teacher. All right, number 12 I think is. because we can't count. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Number 12 is Snow Cone Cart. This is the last in the series for uh, Snow Snow Village. Yes, yes. I didn't know the name. Yep. Yes. Snow Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. Kimberly just finished yours? Yes. 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 Amazing. Yes. Like there's so much dedication with pieces that large. Like I look at the people who have finished Kringles and your, like your focus and ability to work on one piece like that is amazing to me. I want to be able to, that's like my goal. I need to be able to sit down and do something like that. The winner to this goes to Elizabeth Glimbaki. Then there is the Touch of Pink Linen. This was from the Fabric of the Month Club, the linen fabric. And this goes to uh, Maria Young. This is beautiful. It'll be beautiful for like a spring piece or Valentine's Day or Christmas if you're doing the vintage Christmas. 
Number 14 was a chart of your choice from our Etsy shop. So you just look through our Etsy shop and see what chart uh, chart you'd like to win. <laughs> and uh, you can email us that and then I'll send it back as a PDF. The winners are Susan Shorewater, Tammy Robertson, and Sean Matthews. Woohoo! Yes. I also wanted to do another PSA. If you read the Twilight series, she has a new book out. And it's like Edward's version of what it, I'm excited. I ordered it. I got it yesterday. I'm gonna start reading it when I oh find when I find time. It's gonna have to take hold of my TikTok time, and then I'll. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna take time of your quilting time. Your <laughs> quilting cutting time. <laughs> you just sit there and sew, okay? <laughs> I got to match it all up and iron it and make sure that the things are the right way and rip out seams if you mess up. The last two I did on my own. You did, and you did a very good job. I just haven't finished them yet. They just need to be quilted. <laughs> and the backs are all done. I thought right. they need back. Oh, yeah. It's all the same. I'm going to wear these <laughs> right now. Cash. Why? It's cold? No, we got to do oh, we today's have giveaways. giveaways. Don't we call them yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, dinosaur. Stay there. All right, we have giveaways today. these right here mm -hmm. all right so the first ones are offered by sampling of memories she has taken our designs and made them into stitching notions the first one is going to be two opportunities to win august the august truck the second opportunity second one number two two opportunities to win yard sauce since we've been making yard sauce like crazy we have lots of tomatoes we're super mm -hmm. excited three batches yesterday so yes I brought I was I brought my tomatoes over here and let her use mine too. That was... <gasps> All right. Um, number three is from Ravaris, and you're it's called Ocean of Liberty. And you get the needle minder with it. You get the whale needle minder yeah. and the shark. ball. Yes, that's number three. Number four is two opportunities to win stitch cards set E by Lori Holt. Number five are, is, is four opportunities to win uh, Cream Stitch Series number one. It's right here by Lori Holt. And then number six. And those are from Fat Quarter Shop. Yes, from Fat Quarter Shop. Okay, so number six is going to be, since I'm starting this, we're going to do two PDF copies of the Calvin and Clyde from our Etsy shop. And you shop. can start stitching it with mom. And then number seven is three copies of Harvest. Yes. The first in the fall series. Both of those will be PDF. Mm -hmm. So especially for all of our viewers outside of the U.S., that's a great opportunity. Yes. And the, the, the stitching fobs from Sampling Our Memories, USA only, please, right now because of the situation at the post office. Yeah. A lot of things are taking forever to get outside mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the United States. For but example. the regular charts or the PDFs, please apply for those. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> that's, that's a drain cleaner. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's running around with a bottle of drain. Uh, no, <laughs> it's a drain cleaner thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if you're interested in winning any of those giveaways, you leave a comment below our mm -hmm. video. We'll ask you a question. You answer that question and then you list out the numbers that you're interested in winning. You don't say giveaway. You don't say free. You don't say win. You would just list the numbers and answer the question, which is... Oh my goodness. All right, say, say something else while I think about this. Oh, okay. Cash, come here. You want to say hi? Um. <laughs> it's hard to get good help. Um, what else did we do this week? I got a pedicure for the first time since March. Oh, yeah. I found some new to us furniture, redid the kids' room, and I'm going to, oh, I bought gingham peel and stick wallpaper from Target Hi. and I'm going to do part of my bathroom and I might film it, I might not. I, if I film it, it'll be sped up so that <laughs> it'll be, <laughs> I can only imagine. Come here. Okay, so let, let me see. What, what can Come we here. ask that we haven't asked already? We've asked that. That's what we can do. We want to oh, give yeah, us a right, list of right, questions. Right, 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 right. Or one question. I said that the other day. Why yes. didn't you remind me? <laughs> Give us an idea of the questions that you would like to see answered. Yes. 
Because you so, can read through the comments right. and you can see people's different responses. A lot of you do that when we ask where you spend mm -hmm. your stitchy money. You can see where yes. people shop. And I, I saw one person say, you ask that all the time. Yes, we ask it once a month. <laughs> we we, we want to give the stores a shout out. So. We do. We want to keep this industry at the forefront of mm -hmm. our, I mean, we love this hobby. We don't want it yes. to go anywhere. Yes. We love it. Yes. It keeps us sane. Um, okay. So that's what I we have. We did for get you. a couple of new shops this week. Do you remember them offhand? Oh, I'll go through a list of shops right now. If you want to like talk amongst yourselves for a moment, I can do that. We sent out everything on Monday. Everything went smoothly except for stamps.com. Not wanting to, I mean, work. <laughs> All right. So to enter the giveaway, be a subscriber, like the video, and then answer with a question that you would like to see asked by us in the coming weeks. Yes. Also, follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com, where you can see more of everything that we do. And what, what what did I put up there this week? All right. I don't even remember. I don't know what's happening. I did some finishing brains. for the Fat Quarter Shop that is on its way to them that you probably won't see for another month or so. There's something crawling on my list. <laughs> it's the drain cleaner. All right, the shop's name. So they have our, uh, they carry our charts. We are super excited to be working with them. A Nimble Thimble, 123stitch.com, a stitching shop, Acorns and Threads, Always in Stitches, Annabella's, Beach Cottage, Stitches, Bestie Barn Creations, Black Cat Stitchery, Blue Cat Stitchery, Brick City Cross Stitch, Bush Mountain Stitchery, Bird's Blessing, CC and Company, Cardinal Needleworks, Cecilia Samplers, Cobweb Corner, Country Cupboard, Craft Gallery, Crazy Annie's, Cross My Heart, Cross Stitch and Crafts, Cross Stitch Station, Double Cross Stitcher, Embroidery Marketplace, You Count, Farmer's Attic, Fat Quarter Shop, Fiberworks Needleworks Shop, Fire Poppies, For the Stitcher Soul, Happy Little Stitch Shop, Havasu Quilt, somebody said it's not Havasu, it's Havasu, I think is what she said. Hearts Desire, Hobby House Needleworks, Hollis Hands Create, Inspired Needle, Jen Stitching Niche, Just Stitching Ink, Kiwi House LLC, Knit on Designs LLC, Knots and Needles, Laura O'Shea, Lazy Daisy Stitchery, Loves Rubber Stamps and Co., Mad for Minders, Maggie's on Main, Needle C Case Goodies, Needle Orts, Needleworks, Needleworkers Delight, Northern Fabrics, Reflections Framing and Stitching, Sampling of Memories, Southern Stitchers Co., Stashville LLC, Stitch and Frog, Stitch by Stitch, Stitch and Scrap, Stitchers Inc., Stitchery Nook, Stitch Stitcher Express, Stitches from the Heart, Stitches and Things, Stitchville, T. Gear and Ice, The Back Stitch, The Cottage Needle, The Crafter Emporium, The Cross Stitch Nook, The Daily Stitcher, The Shanty Stitchers, The Silver Needle, The Stitch Niche, The Stitch and Post, The Stitching Bee, Threads and Twines, Tomorrow's Heirlooms, Top Knot Stitcher, Traditional Stitches, Twisted Lime Stitches, Village Sampler, The Finishing Touch, Gay Ron Stitchery, Fancy Works, Stitchers Paradise, and Farmer's Attic already said. There you so go. if you <laughs> shop at one of those places or if you're looking for something new, there's your list. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you so much. We like to make sure that you know that your shop is carrying them. Yep. Okay. So <sighs> what else? All right. That's all we have for you today. Um, we plan to do the garden video. Hopefully, hopefully today the sun goes down. Yeah. But it probably won't be posted until the middle of the week. Yes. And then that's just, it's not a garden tour. It's just the Q oh, and A sorry. from the past two like from the trough and from the, the trough. Somebody said you should send the trough to Laura. She'd love it. Laura would be like, what is going on? We love Oh, Laura. the video? Yes, the oh, video. <laughs> we you love... meant the whole trough. No. I was like, no, I'm we... not giving that up. <laughs> we love Laura. Mm -hmm. We drive by there. When we make our trips over to Starbucks, we look for more troughs because <laughs> they put them outside and we just wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what kind of hydrangeas did we buy this time? Uh, the last ones that we bought were limelights. And Are then we, we hoping to go to the flea market tomorrow? Yeah. This time we bought, um, what are they called? Chiffon Zinfandel. Doll? Oh, Zinfandel. And, um, and I got another bobo. Vanilla strawberry. Mm -hmm. We're hydrangea freaks. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Can you show them what you got? Oh, it's this. that. What is it? A book? Book. Yep, book. Can you say thank you? Okay. Alright, say thank you. Thank you for
Look. Say bye. <laughs> bye, say bye bye. I see. I see. I see. Look. This. The. Geek. Yeah. You hope it. We need a book. A book. <laughs> All right, read to us. What does the book say? I'm a cow, I say. Moo. Chick. Next page. Yeah, chicken. Pig. Horse. Everybody's